Today we start at the Salye Oak Tree. It's 300 and about 380 years old. And there used to be a cabin located here, just beneath the tree. And it was built by a man named Charles Salye. Which is why we stopped by here today because I'm gonna tell you the crazy story of how Lake Charles got its name and a love triangle between Charles Salye and his wife, Catherine, and a famous pirate. The Salye Oak is located at the Imperial Kakashu Museum in Lake Charles. And he had a winter home that was built here. It wasn't his primary home. And I'm gonna take you over to see the main house. Now the first people to settle Lake Charles was Mr. and Mrs. LeBlue, and they arrived here in 1781. And not long after that, a man by the name of Charles Salye arrived in Lake Charles. And he married Mr. and Mrs. LeBlue's daughter, Catherine, in 1805. Charles and Catherine built a cabin right here by the lake, and it was here. And this house, if taken into account that this was built around the original cabin, then this is the oldest house in Lake Charles. And they had befriended and were really good friends with Jean Lafitte. And Jean Lafitte used to pull his pirate ship up and park right here and come over and visit Charles and Catherine here. Charles began to get suspicious and think that Catherine and Jean Lafitte were getting a little too close. And he would question her about this often and they would fight about this often. One day while returning from a business trip, as he came down this road, Shell Beach Drive in Lake Charles, approaching his house, he could see the back end of Jean Lafitte's pirate ship pulling away and automatically assumed that he had been here visiting his wife. So he went in already angry and confronted Catherine and asked her about it. And of course she denied it. And he noticed that she was wearing a new piece of jewelry, a brooch on her chest. And he knew then that not only had Jean Lafitte been here, he had given her this gift and he became absolutely livid and went and pulled out his pistol and shot Catherine in the heart. Well, believing that he had killed her, he ran outside and he jumped on his horse. And there's two different versions of the story from here. They say that he ran off and was never heard from or seen again. And that's why there's no record of where he's buried or when he died. And some folks say that he went just across the river here and committed suicide. But I don't believe that story because if he committed suicide here and they knew that, then there would be a recorded date of death and there would be a grave, which I haven't been able to find. But either way, believing that he had killed his wife, he jumped on his horse and he disappeared. However, he had not killed Catherine. Catherine put her hand up in defense and the bullet passed through her hand and struck the brooch that Jean Lafitte gave her and the brooch saved her life. And she remained the rest of her 75 years here in this home. Well, the people of Lake Charles started calling this Charles's Lake or Charles Lake. And even for a while called the city Charlestown and eventually Lake Charles. Although there's no marked grave that I know of for Charles, a lot of the Salye family, including Catherine and their children are here in Salye Cemetery. It's their son, Joseph. And this is one of their daughters as well. And she used to tell a story 
about how fond she was of Jean Lafitte and vice versa. And Jean Lafitte would come over and hang out and play with the kids. They were just really good friends with him. And she told a story that Jean Lafitte one time had a, a bag of gold, a bag of jewels, and he told her if she could lift it, she could keep it. <laughs> it's Antolin Salye, Victoria Salye. guys that's gonna do it today I was hoping to bring you Catherine's grave but I just can't find it I looked everywhere but they do do um, cemetery tours around Halloween here in Lake Charles and uh, that reminds me I want to give a shout out to uh, Nola May Ross and Trent Grimion and uh, the guys around Lake Charles that you know I've always followed and, and read their books and uh, there's a website that Trent posts on almost on a daily basis and um it's called lake charles historic neighborhoods it's on facebook y'all go there and give that a like and check it out and in the meantime don't forget like and subscribe we'll see y'all next time